What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new F1 2016 video. Today we're going to be doing a difficulty comparison between all the seven different difficulties. We have very easy, easy, medium, hard, expert, legend, and now a new game uh, difficulty uh, for F1 2016 is ultimate, which is a step above legend. So um, we're going to explore all these uh, different uh, difficulties um, using the same car, the same track, same conditions, just to get a, um, a fair representation of what the di what the differences are between all the difficulties. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through qualifying, show you the results, uh, and show you guys what the AI get in terms of qualifying. So we're starting off with very easy. You can see Lewis Hamilton has got a 143.7 for pole position, and the slowest time is by Felipe Nazar, a 146.2. Now we're going to go into every race, and I'm going to show you the race craft of the AI through each difficulty as well, and you guys can make your own comparisons as well from this video. The gist that I got from um, stepping up in every difficulty is of course the AI step up their pace, their straight line speed gets better, they put on the throttle a little bit earlier, and they also get a lot more aggressive with each um, difficulty that you increase. So here you can see, we're just setting a back mar uh, setting the, um, the marker I suppose with the racecraft here. You can see it's very, very easy for us to overtake a lot of cars here. They're getting bunched up quite a bit on the first lap, and um, it just makes overtaking very, very easy. And for the most part, I'll say that the, the AI kind of felt the same through uh, very easy straight through to medium. Um, I, I only kind of noticed uh, an increase in pace or like uh, aggressiveness in the AI when I switched to the hard difficulty. But moving on now to easy, you can see the AI's best time is a 1 minute 40.1. So already you can see there's a two second difference in the, uh, you know, the top of the table in terms of uh, performance. So um, that gives you a, a nice gist as to, you know, the kind of increase you'll get whenever you step up the difficulty uh, another level. It'll be interesting to see how much the pace improves as we get higher up the, uh, the ladder in terms of difficulties now. This is the easy setting, so before we did very easy, now this is easy. And um, for me personally, this, this difficulty essentially felt the same. You know, the, uh, the AI still had the same level of uh, aggressiveness, I suppose. And to be honest, I still felt like it was really quite easy for myself to um, to get overtakes. For these first two, two difficulties, I honestly felt like I can get an overtake done on every single corner, if I was uh, being brutally honest. In this race, we got second place, which was still pretty good. And we actually beat the, um, the, the marker that we set in the first race, where we got third. And now this is our medium difficulty. Um, the AI sets a 137.8. So it's another two seconds improvement, just there or thereabouts over the last difficulty. Vettel gets pole position this time, so maybe if it was a Mercedes, there, there could possibly be even more room for improvement on the, the uh, pole time for that difficulty. Now this was um, the first bit of trouble we had in recording this video. The, uh, one of the AI cars kind of moved over a little bit on me into turn one. And uh, I felt like that was uh, quite interesting. Maybe the uh, aggression got stepped up ever so slightly on medium difficulty. But once again, as you can see, it is still quite easy um, to get yourself right towards the front of the grid. This time we get into P6, so not as high as what we managed before. So you can see the slight improvements in uh, the AI's racecraft and just overall pace on the first lap. Now this is hard difficulty. We've set, uh, the AI have set a 136.1, which is a 1.7 uh, second improvement on uh, the pole time. And um, again, you'll see uh, the slight improvements and um, just how much the, uh, the AI pick up their pace on the first lap a little bit. Now this is again, slightly harder than uh, what we saw before. And um, this, is, um, this corner here is gonna be a bit of a reference now for the next few corners. We can see we're overtaking one, two cars around the outside at this corner. So just remember that when we come to some of the harder difficulties and you'll see the kind of uh, reference and how much more speed we can carry versus the AI on uh, harder difficulties. So uh, now we move off to expert difficulty. There's now a 2.2 second improvement over the hard difficulty. So that is actually quite interesting. And again, the, uh, the slowest time is, uh, is really quite random. First lap now, you can see there's a uh, yellow flag, and this is where you can see that the aggression from the AI has well and truly been stepped up. They've all had their own incidents, so if you want to have some, if you really want the AI to really tangle with each other, then I guess expert is the difficulty for you. Just bear in mind, guys, like 
the more, the higher you step up the, uh, the difficulty level, the more and more aggressive the AI are going to be. So you can only imagine how, how racy the AI are going to be on Ultimate when uh, um, we show this difficulty. But either way, here's this corner once again. We only managed to go around the outside of one, maybe two cars there. But that was ultimately due to two cars in front of us going very, very slowly. And again, we're not even inside the top ten yet. We've lost part of our front wing, which has affected things just a little bit, but not too much to be honest. We try and pull it around the outside of Kvyat, and we might pass him up the inside into this left-hander. And yes, we do only just get ourselves into P9. So, um, as you can see, getting much harder as the difficulties progress. And I, I must stress that even on every difficulty, it is quite easy to make positions up on the first lap. When it actually gets harder is when you step into like lap 3, lap 4, or whenever the, uh, the traffic really starts to clear out. That's when the overtakes get much harder on harder difficulties. Um, now we're on the Legend difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty um, from all the previous F1 games. And now it's the second hardest on F1 2016. I will say there was a 2.1 second improvement on Legend difficulty over uh, Expert. And here, as you can see, we don't even make up any positions off the start there. It's four wide into turn one, and these guys are going hammer and tong through these first few corners here, and only now are we making up, making up positions into turn three. So, 17th place at the moment. You can just visual, visually see you know, how much harder this difficulty is. This is the difficulty that I'm used to, and probably the difficulty that you guys are used to watching as well. Notice how we didn't make up a position on Jensen Button there, trying to go around the outside, whereas previously, on every other difficulty, we could make up one, maybe even two positions through that corner. As you can see here, having to be really smart with my, my overtakes, thinking about the move and um, just making it work. As you can see, I'm catching Daniel Ricciardo napping here in a big train. He tries to, stick, tries to stick it up the inside there, which is good to see that uh, the AI will fight you sometimes, and um, that is what you come to expect on Legend difficulty. Now, we step up to Ultimate, which is a uh, 1.3 second improvement over uh, Legend difficulty, but to be honest, it honestly feels like more than that, especially when the race um, gets underway properly and everyone starts to um, find their own rhythm and has their own space on the track. Um, this difficulty, yes, it may, it may look like I make up a, a good amount of position on, on the first lap, but once the race gets into it properly, I really start to struggle like you saw in the 100% uh, Baku race um, just a few uh, days ago. As you can see through turn one, we do make up a few positions. Like we said, um, it is quite easy to make up positions on the first lap. We even have a mana diving up the inside of me, so now the AI are actively trying to pass me, and I've got to think about that when I'm trying to uh, perfect some of my overtakes as well. So these guys definitely keep me honest on this difficulty. I just wish I was just a little bit faster, uh, a little bit more consistent, and um, I'd be able to make this difficulty work. You can see the mana was still putting pressure on me there on that uh, straight there. So uh, P15 at the moment, I'm going to take you guys through this full lap just to show you what the uh, racecraft is like on... Uh, Ultimate AI and as you can see there's a bit of an air gap to the cars in front of us Which I hope I should be able to close through these high-speed sections as uh, we get a cheeky little track extension there The uh, the dirty air and the traffic will allow us to catch up a little bit and that's ultimately what I hope for in uh, Racing the ultimate difficulty AI it is really quite hard to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys and I, I love that fact. I love that it's hard, and uh, we really have to grind away at the game, work on the setups in order to be at a level where we can challenge these guys. And as you can see, even going too wide, the AI were a little bit too slow there for me personally. But um, yeah, like I said, once they find their own gaps, find their own rhythm, these guys are near untouchable. At least at the start of this game, maybe in a, a few a few weeks, few months, we'll be able to uh, really race with these guys in career mode in a semi-decent car, but that has been this video for today, guys. Hopefully you got some insight into what the diff different difficulty levels are like on every single level, and uh, maybe you guys could uh, make a choice on, you know, which difficulty you'd like to go with as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much been this video for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and um, yeah, if you have any suggestions on videos that you want to see from this F1 2016 preview build, then be sure to let me know down in the comments and um, I'll get on to making that kind of video very soon for you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.